Well, I've got a bit of a rare treat. I've managed to catch something which is incredibly elusive and we haven't been able to catch them. You see them and they create big tunnels underneath the earth. Um, great for aeration, but they can cause a little bit of havoc. Anyway, I was watering my garden and uh, in here we have a little what we think is a pocket gopher. I'm gonna let him out, I've driven him down the road, but it's so rare to get this. They're such clever, clever little creatures, these things, and just so beautiful. But sometimes the only way to get rid of them is, is, is trapping in a, in a way that, you know, which is sad, but it's, it's really hard to get rid of them. The cats in the neighborhood get them as well, and there's other ways, you know, there's natural ways that they go, but yeah, they're, they're great for the land in so many ways, but they do also cause a lot of destruction, so you kind of want to eliminate too many of them, and they do breed quickly. So anyway, I'm gonna let this little one out, and I'm gonna show you. It's so sweet, just absolutely adorable. So let's see if I can get this little soul out of here, because they can't see. That's the trouble. There we go. Yeah. Off you go, sweetheart. Now, I know you're a little bit wet, because I drenched you because I was watering the garden, but you've got to go and find your hole now. You've got to go and dig a hole, darling. Yeah. I mean, look how cute they are. They look like the mice, but here he goes. This is how they do it. They're so clever. You go, little buddy. No? Come on. You can do it. They're such hard little workers. So he's using his strong claws there to really dig into the ground. So there we have it folks. I feel honestly super privileged that I got to see that. That is amazing. Pocket gophers are so honestly so elusive. They can be very destructive. I had to handle it with my garden gloves because they do carry parasites and it's not something you really want around the place. But he's uh, found his home quite far away from our home now. Um, yeah, they're tunnels like 240 meters of like a tunnel network underneath the earth. So. A little bit nuts, but um, yeah, I feel super honoured and I'm, I'm so glad I could save him or her, it, they, and bring it down here because they're just beautiful creatures and I didn't want to stress it out too much because I did, well, I did it when I was watering, so I was watering the garden and then I managed to find the, the tunnel and obviously it just created it, so yeah, so there we go. 
just uh, yeah it's a good day and there you have it the little thing's gone and uh, covered up his tracks and the only way to tell is this fresh dirt that it's dug out so bye bye little friend <laughs>